In this video, we are going to talk about how to create a logical device cluster in APIC for the big IP in HA mode. First, we log into the big IP to see that it does not have any device groups configured and also it does not have any NTP or any DNS server configured. Similarly, we log in into the big IP2 where we see that it does not have any device group configured and it does not have any NTP or DNS server settings. So in order to create a device cluster, let's log in into the APIC and click on the Tenants tab. We are going to create a logical device cluster in Tenant Common. While creating a logical device cluster, we have to specify the name of the logical device cluster that we wish to use, the device package version, the mode, which would be unknown manual in our case, which will allow us to specify the options below. In our case, we are specifying the mode as an HA cluster, device type virtual, and context aware as single. The VMM domain is vCenter since we are using vCenter integration. The credentials are the big IP username and password. We then specify the big IP device one management IP, the management port, as well as the VM that we will be using for integration. In the virtual interfaces, we define the physical connection of the big IP to the leaf. In this case, we are defining interface one underscore one on the big IP using the virtual adapter network two connected to the leaf on pod 10 in the direction as consumer. We do the similar for interface two, one underscore two connected to network adapter three in the direction of provider. For device two, we specify the management IP, the port, as well as the VM we wish to use and exactly the same configuration. One underscore one would be the physical interface on the big IP, which would connect to the leaf on port 10 since it's VMM integration, direction as consumer, and one underscore two where the direction would be a provider. The cluster management IP can be the IP address of device one or device two. When we go on the next screen and click on all parameters, here is where we can specify other parameters for the big IP such that such as hostname, NTP server, DNS server, etc. So here we are going to specify the host name for device one as well as device two, the NTP for big IP one and big IP two, as well as the DNS IP address. Since the system is in high availability mode, we also have to specify the high availability interface name, which in our case is one underscore three. The self IP address for HA for both big IP one and big IP two, the subnet mask for both, as well as the VLAN that we would like to use for high availability. Once we click finish the logical device cluster, is created. We see that the logical device cluster is in a device state of init. We can view the debug.logs on APIC to view the progress of the communication between the APIC and the big IP. At this point of time, the HA cluster is being formed. As we can see the progress, we see that the cluster has been formed and the debug.logs specify the sync seconds. Once the communication is successful, we see that the device state is in a stable condition. We can log into the big IP 
Uh, we see that they are in active standby and they are in sync. The configuration has been pushed by APIC for the NTP as well as the DNS server. The VLAN of the HA has been added as well as the self IP that is going to be used for HA communication. Similarly, on Big IP2, we see the host name is set, the NTP server information as well as the VLAN information has been added. Another tab to look at is the device group, which is the logical device cluster name, and we see our two devices are added. Thank you.